Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm gonna show you how SalesHood allowed me to ramp quickly and be a productive member of our sales team here at SalesHood. I myself am new at SalesHood. I've been with the company for just a few months and in that very short time, I'm already supporting our sales directors on their deals. I'm giving demos, I'm helping build solutions. And so how does SalesHood do this? Well, as you can see here, I'm on my homepage. It's clean, it's simple, it's very inviting. I can easily get back to what I was working on last. I have my to-do list that's filled with ongoing learning that contains great manager coaching moments, be it during a deal review, a team check-in, or any of our other huddles. I'm not confused on what's being asked of me. Also on my homepage, I have some great pinned items and I can also see what's trending. These are items that indirectly impact me, so I need quick access, but it's not necessarily a to-do. Our company culture is very present. I have our most up-to-date company deck. I have access to our playbook. I have all these great assets available right here on the homepage. Our CEO, Eli, sends out monthly updates that keep everyone in the company who are mostly in the field and global aligned and up-to-date with what we did well and where we're headed next. This is our April highlights. I love the interaction of the ratings and the social feeling to it. I really love, honestly, hearing from our CEO what's going on. One of the most common issues that I'm hearing about from my customer conversations, though, is how do they solve for onboarding? Everyone needs a solution that allows their sales reps and really anyone in a revenue role to learn about who the company is, get inundated with culture, and know how to be productive very quickly. They want to decrease the amount of ramp time always. Here in my actual onboarding path, I get a really nice layout of all the components that make up a well-planned, organized onboarding experience. On day one at SalesHood, here everyone shares their 12-month vision. It's really inspiring on day one to hear everyone's goals and meet the team. Throughout, I'm completing activities that are connecting me to my fellow employees and our customers. I'm getting coaching on my LinkedIn to make it work for me. I'm learning about our company history and Eli's amazing road to enablement mastery. We also, on our first week, share what our passion is, you know, what makes us tick outside of work. This was one of my favorite exercises because now within days of being on the sales hood team, I'm getting words of welcome from, and, and encouragement from my peers. I can click into the submissions of my new teammates. I can learn who they are and learn about them. Without yet meeting my manager, Deb, face to face, I got to know her on a personal level. She shared with us about her friends and her sisters and how supportive they are and what her passion is. I was really able to feel a strong connection to my teammates in a matter of days. It's how I learned that Tate was an avid golfer. It's how I learned that one of the sales directors that I have to work with, but I love to work with, is actually a huge fan of a rival team of my university. Because of this, I felt safe recording my demos and pitches for the first time in the days and weeks that followed. I felt really comfortable asking for help and I knew who around could support me. It made it easy to be open to feedback. Another key element to any successful onboarding is the sharing of customer stories. I've been working with the customer speakers for Multipliers, which is our event in June, and simply from watching their customer success story, I feel like I already know them so well. Really, the only thing left, which is strange, is to meet them face to face. I know all about their business problems and how we're helping them and really what great people they are and what awesome enablement leaders they are. Learning how saleshood help, help, helps make our clients successful is inspiring, and it's one of the reasons that I was very quickly was able to help me articulate the many ways saleshood resolves revenue problems when I'm meeting with prospects. Of course, I'm learning about the product, but it's not just in feature function modules. I learn about who saleshood is from my peers' three-minute product demos. It's authentic and helped me get to know who the sales directors are and who I'd be working with and what their style is. One of the last items is my messaging certification. Here I was able to very easily get training and coaching on what makes a good elevator pitch. I was able to see examples of what good looks like at my company. I was able to practice before recording. And once I did record, I was able to get manager feedback and reviews. 
I can see the leaderboard and watch the reviews of my peers' pitches. This was a great way to get to know the sales directors again. And I'm gonna point out Amy. Amy joined a few weeks after I did. And in doing these exercises, we've really been able to be successful and work together. We have already closed a few deals together and it's only been a few weeks. So it's pretty awesome how quickly you get to know your peers, get to know their style, and you're able to collaborate very quickly. Because of how I was onboarded using Saleshood, I was on calls, I was productive, I was helping close deals all within a matter of weeks and not months. Although all of this content I just showed you here is ours, just imagine how delivering your onboarding content with Saleshood could help transform how you onboard your new hires and drastically decrease the amount of ramp time your sales reps need. Next, I want to walk you through our library. Next, I want to walk you through how Saleshood delivers content in an ongoing basis that helps me learn and get coaching from my managers and peers. What you're seeing here is the library in Saleshood. What's great about this library is I'm never concerned about where do I find an asset. It's truly the only place that I need to go. I don't have to go to a company chat tool. I'm not searching in email attachments. Uh, it's not buried or hidden anywhere on my, my local computer. What I need is right here in Saleshood. As a solution consultant, a place that I really need to make sure I'm up to date on is our product. Here I have everything I need about the product that's more in depth than what was part of my onboarding learning path. I have access to all the past release notes. For each of our releases, our product managers put together a huddle and it lets me know what's new, but they're also interacting with me within this huddle. I'm able to get bite-sized short video trainings on what's new and what's to come. You can see we're able to interact with our product managers and give them feedback and ask questions. Here I was able to actually give Trevor a piece of advice uh, on a similar project that I've done in the past on a Salesforce integration, which was pretty cool to be doing with, a, with only a couple weeks here at the company. And one of my favorite things is that our product managers ask what our favorite feature is when we actually push the release. As a solution consultant, I can leverage these insights into my product demos and specific positioning into my presentations. The collaboration that happens in these product releases alone is invaluable to me in my role. I can apply what I'm seeing and learning to a specific deal right away. Back in the library, I have access to our sales playbook, other product marketing assets, any kind of training that I need to help. I like the stories category the best, so I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. It's filled with fun anecdotes about our company and who we are. It's how Eli introduces new hires. It's how we share when we're part of initiatives. It's how we share fun volunteer work moments that we have. But it's also filled with the deal wins from our sales directors and Eli. I was able to get the sales process down very quickly, not through traditional training, but rather through watching how Josh, Rob, and other sales directors won. This entire library is accessible via our mobile app. So for those who are out in the field, they can get the notification on their phone as new stories are uploaded. Recently, Josh, one of our sales directors that I had mentioned and I were walking to an onsite here in San Francisco. On the way, we were able to prep. We actually opened the app, we popped open Scott's win, and we watched how he closed successfully a very similar deal. It's in these moments of just-in-time learning, just-in-time coaching that ensure I'm confident and effective in supporting the sales directors. It's easy to see how a company can very quickly and at scale increase, increase their win rates and have more reps hitting quota when you can share best practices this easily. The last piece I'd like to share with you is how I use Saleshood even when in Salesforce. This is where an organization can really impact win rates. As a member of the sales org, I am in Salesforce every day. What's great is that I, I can access anything that I would need from Saleshood in my natural workflow. I don't even have to leave Salesforce. It's right here. That entire library that I showed you, it's also available here within the same tab right in Salesforce. I also use our great opportunity integration. Here I've pulled up a sample opportunity. This is available in Classic and also Lightning. I'm gonna revert this op back to stage one. 
because normally I don't come in until stage three. So you can see here at stage one, this is a new opportunity and right now it's in the sales director's hands. So how is Tate gonna be successful on this op? Well, all he has to do is scroll down and access the sales hood content library. Because of this robust tagging in the library of assets I just showed you, he's gonna get content that populates for him that's gonna help him be successful in pushing this sales through. We're gonna go ahead and assume that this has been qualified, the value has been presented, and it gets to me at stage three. This is great because now, not only is Tate getting access to what he needs, but now I am too. So on the op, I can scroll down and you'll see, again, because of the taggings, because the stage was updated, the content that we're recommended is different. I now get on-demand recommended content when I need it that's specific to my opportunity. So this is how I've used SalesHood as I've ramped. Although I'm not a manager, I do just wanna take a real quick moment to show you our KPI dashboards. All of the SalesHood activities that I showed you, all of those coaching moments, all of the video watching, the clicks, the content interaction, all that is being tracked in the back end. So each manager can see how sales activities correlate to business outcomes. So for example here, your marketing leader, they're gonna to wanna to see what content is most used, what's having the most impact on deals. Your CRO, they're going to wanna to know that the manager coaching is actually helping the field team close more deals and they'll wanna see manager engagement. And finally, your enablement leaders, they're gonna want their own custom dashboard, which, you, which they can have to see data such as video watching time, total activities over period. They get all the great analytics also on completion of any of their onboarding programs and their certifications.